Hi folks, this is Max from uh, Galaxy S2 root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, root your uh, Galaxy S2. Uh, GTI 9100, this is only for the international version, GTI 9100. Uh, if your model number does not start with i9100, um, please do not follow it. Uh, basically what we're going to do is uh, install a, uh, a a custom kernel that's compatible. Um, this will work on any of the Jelly Bean. Uh, if you have Android 4.1.1, one or Android 4.1.2, it will work on both of those. And you can see I've got Android 4.1.2. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, inst get root here. Um, so go ahead and turn your phone off. All right, power off. And we're going to go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and the home button as soon as the lights are gone there. All right. Get a little vibration. Go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and the power button. And hold it down until you get into this uh, warning screen. Hit volume up. And go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to your computer. And uh, we're ready to go. Let's go to our computer. Next, go ahead and download Jabu Kernel i9100. Uh, blah blah dot tar that file right there and also download odin 3 v 185zip if you unzip it make sure you unzip it you get a folder uh, with these two files so those three are all the files you need and go ahead and run odin 3 v 185 uh, say yes and uh, you get it this you get this screen um, this is actually used for all the samsung phones um, you should get this yellow highlighted com sign there uh, with a random number, it doesn't matter, just as long as you get some kind of yellow highlight, highlighted box. If you get two of these, uh, make sure you only plug one Android device. Um, and uh, if you don't get it, go ahead and download uh, Samsung USB drivers. I'll have links uh, in my tutorial instruction on my site. Um, go ahead and download it. It's an exe file. Run it. Uh, it will install the Samsung USB drivers. It's like 50 megabytes or something. It'll, it won't be. It'll be very quick. And uh, I'll go ahead and unplug and plug your phone back in, and you should get this yellow highlighted sign there. Uh, if you don't, then try another USB port also. That sometimes fixes it. Um, next, all you're going to do is don't touch anything else. Hit PDA, and go to Downloads, uh, and go find the file I was talking about, the Jibu kernel, wherever you download it. Um, I have it here. Jibu kernel, blah, 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 dot tar. This will install a custom kernel, um, basically, you know, made for uh, Android 4.1.1 and 4.1.2, anything Jelly Bean, um, you should be fine. And go ahead and install it. Start. And this will install the kernel, and your phone will reboot once it says pass. Uh, give it a second here. And reset and pass. Uh, if you get to this point, you're all good. If for some reason it hangs here, again, you can try another USB port. And also make sure uh, Samsung Keys is turned off. Uh, the way you can check it is Control Alt Dell. Press all those three at the same time. Um, start Task Manager, and go go look for any keys. Uh, see, I was actually running it. You should actually close it. Um, usually that interferes with it. I got lucky here, but go ahead and close it uh, if you have any problems, and also try another USB port. And that's pretty much it. We can do the rest in our uh, on our phone. And also I'll have another guy using Linux or Mac using Heimdall. Um, I'm going to try to have another video tomorrow, this week, so watch out for that. And uh, let's go to our phone now. Hi folks, so once you've uh, rebooted, um, you still might not have root. Of course not, because you didn't install root. Um, this is just a kernel, but very easy. This kernel comes with clock for my recovery. Um, you just need clock for my recovery, uh, the rooting file. So I'll just go ahead and go to your browser. You can download it straight to your phone. Um, go to download uh, Android I'll have links to this file so you don't actually have to type it uh, but uh, in case you know you can just go here straight here uh, download Android ROM.com you'll find a bunch of stuff here alphabetical go to um, go to tools down here go to tools go to tools there we go uh, there we go go to tools and uh, here You'll find uh, Super SU f there. Go ahead and click on Super SU. And go ahead and download the latest version uh, as of this video, which is uh, version 0 0.99. Any of them will work. Go ahead and download it. And also, you can download this on your computer uh, and also copy it over if you want to. Um, 
but uh, go ahead and wait five seconds click to download and this shouldn't take too long it's not a big file there you go so I download it download complete um, either way you just gotta get it on your uh, phone somehow and once you get it on there that's actually gives you root uh, the SU binaries and also super user APK basically two files it's gonna install for you and to install it you'll need clockwork my recovery uh, on the Galaxy S2 to get clockwork my recovery because it's part of the kernel you'll have to install a kernel uh, with clockwork my recovery on it so go ahead and power off um, your phone and we're gonna boot into clockwork my recovery um, once it's uh, powered off go ahead and hold down volume up center and home all right uh, give it a second there we go now go ahead and hold, hit volume up center home and then home uh, power button all three buttons at the same time just like that three buttons and just give it a second and uh, you should be in clockwork mod recovery um, it rebooted twice it's okay just keep holding it until you see that and let go. Now, if you don't see Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, sometimes what can happen is that some of the newer software updates, they might overwrite. Um, actually, no, that's not going to happen on the Galaxy S2. That's not going to happen on the Galaxy S2 because um, recovery is part of the uh, kernel. So don't worry about it. Sorry to make you confusing. Let's go to the next part. Let me zoom in here. Uh, very easy. Go down to Install Zip. All right, hit the power button. Um, choose it from SD card or internal SD card. I'm not sure where it downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and check my internal first. And it, usually, when you download something, it's going to go to your download folder. So I'm going to go to my download folder and see if that that file's there. Yes. The, so the CWM SuperSU 0.99.zip. Go ahead and click uh, on the power. And uh, this is, you can actually root any Android device using this method as long as you have clock, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, say yes. And this will install all the files. It takes like two seconds. All done. Um, go ahead and reboot, and your phone's rooted. All right, and that's it. Um, so you should have a fully rooted phone. And you can use this method as long as, so long as you have custom recovery, you can flash that file on any Android device, most smartphones, uh, let's say, and it will root your Android smartphone. Now with some of the tablets, um, it might not work because uh, like, let's say Galaxy Tab 10.1, it might, it, the location of Super SU might be different, the binaries, well, just saying. Anyway, it is almost done. Um, it's just gonna say Android is upgrading because uh, it uh, probably cleared your cache and, uh, oh, maybe not. Uh, it's done here. And uh, you should have, let it load up for a second here. Um, you should have Super SU um, Super User. Go ahead and run it. Uh, if it asks you to update the binaries, go ahead and hit continue. All right, let me go ahead and download a rooted app real quick. So let's ha actually go ahead and download Titanium Backup together. Um, type Titanium, and you'll be able to download Titanium Backup root. Um, this is uh, requires root to run it, so um, you can verify you have full root uh, by running any rooted app. But Titanium Backup app, I highly recommend you run it once as soon as you root your phone, if this is the first time. Um, this will save all of your apps, app data uh, in, the, uh, in your internal storage under Titanium Backup folder directory. Um, so, you know, if something goes wrong, you will always be able to restore your apps with data. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, oh, did you see that? Well, did I just skip it? Let me do that again for you. Um, what you can do is go to Super SU, and I'm gonna delete this, forget, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill the Titanium Backup app, and you'll be able to see um, the window again. I forgot to show you. There we go. So if you get that window uh, with any rooted app, that means your phone has been fully rooted. And uh, let's go check out settings about phone, and you should have a custom kernel um, should be fine, and uh, I've got the Jibu kernel, and uh, Android 4.1.2, fully rooted, uh, my Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything working, and uh, you didn't lose any apps, whatever you started with, um, this me root method just installed as a custom kernel, and basically you're going to uh, flash the Clock Remote Recovery um, and Super SU, you know, so, or Sorry, not clock for my recovery. Uh, rooting files with SuperSU and SU binaries. The zip file you flash, that's what it contains. Two files, 
uh, basically su binary um, it's actually one file and also super user apk uh, which is your super su um, application and uh, that's pretty much it and uh, you should have a fully rooted phone now if you want to ever uh, get updates now with a custom kernel you're not going to be able to get updates how do you get updates I'll have another video on it but let me sim tell you simply uh, all you would need to do is download the uh, uh, stock firmware for whatever phone uh, your, your you know stock firmware for your your model go ahead and go to SAM firmware go look for um, uh, the build number XWLS8. Eh, can you see? Sorry, it's not bright at all. Here we go. Uh, there we go. So go ahead and download the appropriate uh, stock firmware, and uh, it will usually be in a um, zip file. If you unzip it, you'll get a tar.md5 file, uh, which is basically your stock firmware. Now, with the tar.md5, um, just edit the file, rename the file name so it ends in .tar instead of uh, .tar md5. And uh, after you rename it as .tar, you can use a un tar unzipping program. Um, just go Google it, and if you unzip the tar file, you get a bunch of files. You just need to uh, find the Z image file, extract it, and then um, use a tar zipping program to retar it. Any any file name. Um, and then you flash it uh, just like you did with um, the Jabu kernel and that's pretty much will reinstall the stock kernel along with the stock recovery and uh, you'll be able to get updates it sounds very confusing actually it's very very easy I'll have another video on it uh, if you know some of you want to do it or also when there's updates you can just use Odin and flash the whole ROM also uh, so there's multiple ways to cut the cake um, but I'll stop here. You should have a rooted uh, Jelly Bean Galaxy S2 phone. And uh, that's it. And if you have a Galaxy S2, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxyS2.com. We update you once a week with Rom of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Uh, subscribe button there, too. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, stay high on Android.